let's see what it means to root an Android device. Android rooting. Now root, of course, Android is Linux. It's a variant of Linux. When you root an Android device, you are restoring what was taken away. In Android, they take away root access or super user access. You are restoring privileged control root access of the Android subsystem. It exploits vulnerabilities in the device firmware security that allows you to put this back. It copies the super user binary to a location in the process path and allows executable permissions using the change mode or chmod command. What this really means is we're putting back stuff that was taken out to protect you. We're putting these things back by taking advantage of a vulnerability so that you can be the root user once again, which ordinarily most users should not have. Um, all user installed applications can then run in, in privileged uh, process and run privileged commands. Of course, you are walking around with a loaded gun, so it has its own security risks. There are a bunch of Android rooting tools. Super One Click, Super Boot, One Click Root, King O Android Root, or just King, King O Root, or King Android Root, Unrevoked, Rescue Root, Unlock Root Pro. Now, I want to make a comment right now about one click rooting and jailbreaking tools. Why are people putting these things out for free? Hmm? I mean, just think about that, really. A lot of people don't think, oh, it's free. Why would someone go to the trouble of putting out something like this for free? Well, you have to consider the source. There has been a lot of discussion, and you should not dismiss this. I mean, I don't know that we have proof, but there's been a lot of discussion of a lot of these jailbreaking tools come from hostile foreign powers. And uh, you can't trust the one-click kind. It is true that there are methodologies to do it manually. And you could probably trust that because you're doing it yourself. But the one-click stuff, you don't know what you're installing. So just be aware that when you're rooting or jailbreaking a device, depending upon where you got that jailbreak or that root app from, it could be infecting you. You could be making yourself a part of a bot army. Just saying. It's, it's possible. Don't dismiss that. On the other hand, if you want to do things to learn and experiment, and then you're, you're going to wipe out the, the phone and either throw it away or, or upgrade it with a whole new firmware and everything, then that's fine. And I recommend that you try rooting and jailbreaking on things you don't care about just so you can learn. So the pro, pros and cons of rooting Android. Root access lets you uninstall stuff that you normally could not uninstall. Have you ever looked at Android and gone, God, I really don't need those things, and there's no way to get rid of them. Root access lets you get rid of those things that otherwise they don't allow you to uninstall. Of course they don't allow you to uninstall it. They want you to use it and make money off of you. You can then install any app you like, including hacking tools. You can work deeply into the operating system. The risks, of course, mean that you are putting your phone at greater risk of malware because you have bypassed all of your security mechanisms. You could accidentally permanently damage your phone while rooting it. And chances are excellent that those free one-click rooting sol solutions will install malware and spyware on your phone. There are a number of hacking tools that run on Android. And the reason why is that Android, being Linux, allows you to have um, uh, access down to the hardware level, which uh, Apple does not permit. So just a few tools that can run on Linux. You can run Network Spoofer, which basically is a prank tool. It makes, you're, you're basically um, intercepting what some people think they see on a website. It's not changing the website at all, but they, you are changing their view of text and pictures, flip it upside down, replace or delete words, change picture, pictures, redirect to other pages. It's mostly to pull pranks on your friend. There's Droid Sheep, a little more serious. You can do some ARP spoofing. There are a number of sniffers. And there is a something called Hack Code, which is um, for scanning and passive reconnaissance, doing it from an Android phone. Here's the hack code example. 
the hacker's toolbox. Of course, it's, it's really for recon. It's not for like serious, it, it's, it's not a whole lot past reconnaissance. You can ping, you can trace route, what is my IP? You can look up DNS, um, look up uh, mail exchanger records, do a DNS dig. You can do recon and scanning and look for exploits and, and read security. There are a number of Android Trojans. Andro Rat and Zitmo, Fake Token, Trampa, Fake Defender, Obad, a bunch of these. And here's an example of uh, Android Rat Binder right here. You can just see just sort of an example. You put in an IP address and a, a port and you create an APK and then you make a connection and you start doing stuff to the, the phone that you just um, compromised. So that's rooting Android and the things we can do once we have rooted Android.